observed. I like your Accolades. jumper. That's cool. Thanks. Anyway. Sweater. Sorry. H &M. Not Trousers, done. slickers, flats. We'll just <laughs> we can, you can translate. Uh, this film, uh, the very nature of its title, The Impossible, when you go into it knowing what the subject matter is, uh, I sat down thinking, okay, this is going to be just horrifying to watch. This is going to be such a difficult film to process. But I know it's going to have a happy ending because it's called The Impossible, and it's a true story. And yet I found myself, I mean, within even just the first couple of minutes, the dramatic weight of it and the tension, it was still, I, I still didn't, I didn't know what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. and I didn't know who was going to make it and who wasn't yeah. going to make it. Uh, could you tell me a little bit about the uh, striking that balance of, um, you know, it's a true story. Yeah. And it's, uh, we hope that everyone survives, but also having to, to tell a film that has that dramatic tension. And, and well, I mean, the dramatic tension, I think, is something that's in the hands of the director, really, and not so much the actor. I mean, I think we are, we are, our job is to try and, it's especially when you're telling a story about a real life disaster like this, mm -hmm. especially when you're telling a story about a tragedy where hundreds of thousands of people lost their lives and many more lost their loved ones. We have a responsibility to all of those people. Mm -hmm. um, to tell the story and that responsibility manifests itself in the fact that we have to be really honest and true to the story. I mean, if we start doing sort of movie scenes and, yeah. and making movie moments out of this story, that would be, you know, using the tsunami, that would be unforgivable, but I'm, I'm pleased and proud to say that we don't and that mm. the, the director didn't ever encourage us to do so. So um, our job was to be very honest and true to the scenes we were playing, really. And uh, the dramatic tension is something that he's, that he's managed to create, and 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 it's true from the moment the film starts really to the, the end. Loud there's, airplane there's and the turbulence, and, and yeah, and there's the something very uneasy about it. Of dread. But the impossible also is a, is a. He puts the title at the end of the film, mm. and he does that because it, our family survive, and we see them leaving Thailand, and in many ways, um, he he says that that's where the impossible begins. That how do you survive something like this? Oh wow! It's it's not. It's not easy to be a survivor. It's because you're have, they've struck with um, feelings of guilt and why did they survive and other people died, mm -hmm. and um, I think it's not easy. And how do you how do you go back to normal life after experiencing something as barbaric and cruel and violent and um, and devastating as this as the tsunami? I have a little girl who turns five this month yeah. and another kid on the way. And I know you're, you're also a parent. Thank you. And uh, it's just uh, watching a film like this, it's just so different yeah. now in the last few years for me than, I know. than growing up. And I can only imagine as an yeah. actor, and you've never really played a parent before. It's the first time I've really played a dad, or at least it's the first time I've explored parenthood and that relationship, that unique relationship that we have um, with our children. That's a, that's a love and a feeling that we have for them that we don't share with any other human beings at all. So um, it, was in, it was interesting for me to do that, albeit against this extreme sort of backdrop. But I also like to think of actors that um, anything's possible and they, that, you know, the idea of having to be a dad to play one isn't, isn't something I would go along with because I like to think that actors can do anything. Because, you know, I've played... I've a, I, I, if you played a serial killer, you don't have to be a serial killer. And if you, you know, we could use our imagination. But yeah. that being said, knowing how you feel about your kids and imagining yourself in the situation like this is is pretty horrendous. Yeah. Well, that, that being said, you are actually a Jedi, so. So, exactly.